In parks and gardens, one of the most striking and familiar of trees is horse chestnut, which is native to the Balkan region of Southeast Europe. Uh, it would normally go to about 150 years. This one here is considerably older. This is probably in the region of 200 years old. And it's especially spectacular at this time of the year, around the middle of May, when it has these uh, extraordinary candelabra of flowers. And if we take a look at one of them, you can see that each of these candelabra is made up of oh, maybe 25 to 30 branches, uh, all opening and developing around the same time. And then each branch has got several uh, closely clustered uh, individual flowers, as you can see there. And if we take a look now, if we take a look at one of the individual flowers in the cluster, uh, it's not always that easy, easy to separate them. Uh, you can see that each has got four rather small sepals at the back there, uh, and then there are four petals. Um, the upper two of which are much more striking and well-developed. Uh, and you can see that the, at first the colour is yellow, uh, and then the colour quickly turns to this carmine colour, uh, which is the attraction for the, for, the, for the pollinators. The pollinators are bumblebees. And the nectar, uh, the nectar is concealed in a sort of little well at the top of the calyx, uh, the, the, the ring of, of, of sepals there. Uh, and it's concealed, made inaccessible to shorter tongued insects by the fact that the flowers are horizontal, the pleating of the petals helps, and also uh, the hairy nature of the base of uh, those two prominent petals and, and, and the stamens help to make it difficult for insects to actually get at the nectar which is concealed in there. Um, now, all the flowers, uh, they look more or less the same, but in actual fact, most of them are male. Most of them are male. Uh, the, the, the perfect flowers are the hermaphrodite flowers, which have both male and female parts uh, in them, uh, are usually kind of somewhere towards the middle, maybe a bit, bit up towards the top. Difficult to pick out because the long, uh, the long style uh, of, of the carpel is the same colour as the seven stamens, so it can be difficult to distinguish sometimes uh, at certain stages of development of the flower. It's a lot easier to see uh, if you look at an older flower. Uh, uh, here, for, for example, if you look at an older, somewhat older flower, uh, where which has already been pollinated, you can see the way in which the, the ovary there is beginning to swell. Okay? And you can see then from that that the, the, the long white style is very similar in appearance to uh, the filament of the stamen. So it can be a bit difficult sometimes to pick out which of the ones that are going to develop into fruits. Of course, later in the year, uh, later in the year it becomes very easy. In fact, if you keep an eye on a tree like this, this over the course of the, of the summer and on into autumn, uh, you will immediately see, see where the perfect flowers were because they're the only ones that are going to have conquerors. And that explains why it is that on an individual spike in the autumn, you'll only have a, a three or four or five conquerors uh, which have developed from, from the perfect flowers. But if we go back again to that, the individual flower, uh, let's see, um, there are seven, seven stamens. Uh, now, in the, the, the female part of the flower, in fact, is the first to develop. So if you were to look at uh, a perfect flower, a hermaphrodite flower, just as it's beginning to open, first thing you're going to see is the, is the stigma po poking out. So the, 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 the female part matures first, followed then in perfect flowers by the stamens. And th as I said, there are seven of them. They're held way forward. Uh, they're bent down a little bit at first, and then gradually, as the flower opens properly, uh, they curve upwards, providing a landing platform for the visiting bumblebees. You can see the lower petals there, they're not, uh, not suitable at all as landing platforms for, for the insects. So immediately, as soon as a bumblebee lands on the flower, it's going to get dusted with, uh, with pollen from, uh, from the, the anthers, which uh, develop soon after the, the, um, the, the stigma is receptive.